This is a Christian response to Noah Cyrus's song, The End of Everything. What's up guys, my name is Isaac David and this is The Daily Disciple where I help you follow Jesus daily. If you're new here, I put out videos every Thursday and bonus videos like this one as well, so I'm excited to get into it. But before we do, I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. The people on Patreon keep this channel and my ministry going and growing and it is a tremendous blessing to me. Um, it's my goal to be able to do this full time and by partnering with me on Patreon, you allow me to get closer to that goal, so thank you. Link in description to the Patreon. So, it was just yesterday, I was looking through my YouTube uh, trending feed as I do, just to see uh, for video ideas and just for my own curiosity, and this video, uh, music video by Noah Cyrus popped up, and I probably wouldn't have thought anything of it, except for the fact that I really enjoyed her song, July, and I know it's kind of like cliche, it's like, oh, it's just like one of those popular songs that seem most people seem to like, and I enjoy that song, so I was like, oh, this is something else she's got out, I wonder if it's good, and I tuned in, and what I saw, it blew my mind, it stirred my heart to the point where I was like, I gotta respond to this for you guys, because her worldview so evidently um, go like seeps through her art here and I think it's a really great example and just something for us to break down as Christians and if you're a non-Christian watching this to see the Christian perspective and how we approach life in general and it's really asking some really huge existential questions that I think the Bible has better answers for, but let's get into the song lyrics. Everyone you love is gonna die, but darling, so is everything. Don't cry. The stars will blink out one last time, and everyone you love is gonna die. Everything you fear is gonna end, and all your hate and hurt lost in the wind. It's hard, I know. The universe can be a jealous friend. Everything you fear is gonna end. It's amazing to me, the worldview that's just like pouring through this, and it's a common one. It's this idea that, hey, look, don't sweat the small stuff on Earth because in the end, we're just gonna be dust. We're just gonna be skeletons. Everything's gonna end. Really, at the end of the day, life is what you make it. And <laughs> to, quote her, <laughs> to quote her older sister, Hannah Montana, <laughs> that's hilarious. Life is what you make it, so let's make it rock. <laughs> um, some of you will get that reference. But it's like, it's this existential, like, hey, there really is no ultimate meaning or purpose. Um, you know, the universe was created randomly, and it is ultimately going to, you know, just going to extinguish, right? The stars are going to go out, and there's other lines in here that are just so... The video itself, I encourage you to watch the music video, and just really, for yourself, dissect what she's saying in the worldview and the message that she's putting forward. But to me, it was an emotionally stirring thing, because what they were showing there was was the universe, everything we know on earth and in the universe just extinguishing and coming to an end and, and, it, and it brings forward some really real emotions in our heart and I was just reading some of those comments down below and I encourage you to do the same. See how people are responding to this video about, look, does the world, does life have meaning or is it just kind of this melancholy, you kind of just figure it out and maybe there's some nice stuff but ultimately we're here randomly so enjoy the time you have this hedonistic like live it up you know eat drink um and be merry for tomorrow we die some more lyrics here everyone you love is gonna die so is everything so wipe away your tears you know nothing lasts forever but lord we try everything you love is gonna die I think this is a very, like, we can see this contrast very distinctly with the Christian world view. In John 11, we are presented with a very different world view. Jesus is this. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet he shall live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Life does not end after we die on earth. The Bible says that we are we either live with God in eternal life or live in death in eternal damnation uh, for our sins against God. Like, right? Like this is not the end. And this is why my heart is broken for people that watch this video and for Noah too, if this truly is her worldview, that they think, look, this world is just passing away and there's nothing after that. 
um, because we, we, we learn in the Bible, we were created for a purpose. God knows us and he desires a relationship with us. And, and this is an amazing, amazing truth that I want people to know about. And this is why I'm making this video to say, to say to you, look, this, everything won't end, right? God is eternal. He, he has no beginning and no end. You will either be with him or you will be without him. And he calls you today to himself. He is a good father. Is the, the story of the prodigal son, the prodigal son goes away, spends all his earnings, and he kind of rebels against the father, but he comes back with nothing. He, he's blown it all. And he comes back and he says, Father, you know, I'm just going to be a servant of you. I don't deserve your love or to be your son. But the father welcomes him back and, and celebrates. And, and it's an amazing it's an amazing, amazing moment and picture of the gospel. God is waiting for you to come back to himself. He's waiting for you to come home to accept you and say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well done, my child. I love you. I accept you by my grace. And, and this is the truth of the gospel, folks. And share this with other people. Everything will not end. This is not the end. Um, it is only the beginning in the span of eternity. Well, guys, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want me to do more um, reactions to certain songs, send them to me, and I'd love to take a look. Um, thank you so much again to my patrons on Patreon for your support once again, and I'll see you next time. Bye!